Shivaji Maharaj, the warrior king who established Hindu Swaraj. Shivaji Maharaj is one of the most famous warriors and kings in Indian history. He was born on the 19th of February 1630 in the hill fort of Shivneri, near Pune in Maharashtra. He was the son of Shahaji Bonsle, a Maratha nobleman, and Jijabai, a brave and devout Hindu mother who instilled in him a sense of pride in his religion and culture. Shivaji Maharaj grew up in the tumultuous times of the 17th century when India was being ravaged by foreign invaders and internal conflicts. Early Life As a young boy, Shivaji Maharaj was trained in martial arts, horse riding, and warfare by his mother, Jijabai, and his tutor, Dadoji Kondeo. He showed great courage, intelligence, and leadership skills at a young age, and soon became the leader of a small group of soldiers who fought against the Mughal and Adil Shahi armies. First Conquest in 1646, at the age of 16, Shivaji Maharaj launched his first military campaign against the Adil Shahi dynasty, which ruled over most of the Deccan region. He captured the hill fort of Torna, which was strategically located between Pune and Satara. This was the beginning of Shivaji's mission to establish a strong and independent Hindu kingdom in the Deccan. Rise to Power Over the next few years, Shivaji Maharaj continued to expand his territory and increase his army's strength. He won several battles against the Adil Shahi, Mughal, and Bijapur armies, and captured many forts and cities. He also formed alliances with other Maratha leaders and created a network of loyal supporters. In 1674, Shivaji Maharaj was crowned as the Chhatrapati or King of the Maratha Empire at Raigat Fort, which became his capital. He established a strong and efficient administration, with separate departments for revenue, justice, and defense. He also introduced several reforms, such as the system of Chauth and Sardeshmukhi, which allowed him to collect taxes from neighboring territories in exchange for protection. Religious Tolerance Shivaji Maharaj was a devout Hindu, but he was also tolerant of other religions. He had several Muslim soldiers and officers in his army, and he treated them with respect and fairness. He also allowed Christians and Jews to live and practice their faith in his kingdom. Fight against the Mughals Shivaji Maharaja's greatest challenge came from the Mughal Empire, which was ruled by Aurangzeb, a fanatical Muslim emperor who was determined to conquer and convert all of India to Islam. Aurangzeb sent several armies to crush Shivaji's rebellion and capture his forts, but Shivaji Maharaj used his guerrilla warfare tactics and strategic intelligence to outsmart the Mughal generals. The Treaty of Purandar In 1665, Shivaji Maharaj was forced to sign the Treaty of Purandar with the Mughals, which imposed several restrictions on his kingdom and forced him to surrender 23 forts. However, Shivaji Maharaj used this temporary setback to strengthen his army and launch a counter-attack against the Mughals. Final Years and Legacy Shivaji Maharaj died on 3 April 1680, at the age of 52. He was succeeded by his son, Sammaji, who continued his father's legacy of fighting for Hindu Swaraj. Shivaji Maharaja's legacy is that of a brave and visionary leader who united the Maratha clans and established a powerful empire that fought for the rights of Hindus against the foreign invaders. He is still revered as a hero and a symbol of Maratha pride and patriotism. Shivaji Maharaja's legacy lives on in the hearts of millions of Indians, who remember him as a warrior king who fought for the freedom and dignity of his people. His military strategies, administrative reforms, and moral values continue to inspire people today. His motto of, Hindu vi Swaraj, self-rule of Hindus, is still relevant in modern times, as India continues to face challenges to its sovereignty and unity. Conclusion In conclusion, Shivaji Maharaj was a true patriot and a visionary leader who fought for the establishment of Hindu Swaraj in the Deccan. His life and legacy are an inspiration to all those who seek to uphold the values of courage, integrity, and patriotism. His legacy continues to inspire generations of Indians to fight for their rights and to preserve their cultural heritage. Shivaji Maharaj will always be remembered as a hero who fought for the dignity and freedom of his people, and as a symbol of India's rich cultural heritage. Thanks for watching.